Generals, gentlemen. Hello and hello and welcome back to Command and Conquer Zero Hour. We are the Generals, gentlemen. I'm the machine. And I'm Mark on Hawk. Today we have two sexy desktop microphones. Whoa. So we're just twice, little... twice the sexiness in case this one can't see. See, look. Yeah. Ah, right. how so, awesome is that? Gone are the days of headsets because this is all superior, superior sound. The reason why we like these desktop mics is they have what I like to refer to as the sexy man filter. Yeah. No matter what you say, say it just sounds like really masculine. Super because masculine. It's like, I like high heel pumps. It was like, see, that still wow. sounded maximum. It did. You, the success. Anyway, we're... I we're, like to play Zero Hour. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway. anyway twice the maximum. Speaking of people that like to play Zero Hour, we do have... SYL Detox as our blue GLA Demolition. And he'll be playing off against Red Chill as our Cyan, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Cyan China Nuke up the top here on um, the front line, isn't Indeed, it? Indeed, the so, front yeah. line. This map is definitely an interesting one, but what interests me is the fact that it's not Tournament Desert. That's all the interest yeah. and excitement that I need. That's all we want. Other than that, though, one of these players is Viking, but I don't know who, and, like, you know, it's it's not our fault. If, if you want us to call you by your names, then play the games by your names. <laughs> For the meantime, we will be calling these people the Smurf names. Nuke Battlemaster coming out here. Very aggressive forward war factory and the supply setting up on the supply here. Now I'm super devastated because I saw the war factory coming out. I was going to make a, a little pun about how Red Chill thought that the supply, that the war factory was actually a, a, a supply center. And I, I was unable to make that pun because he bought a war, he bought a supply center straight well, after that. Red Chill was able to make the crush with his dozer. He was able to make the crush with his dozer, which is, which is quite nice. Uh, Tunnel Network does get denied on that side. Doesn't really surprise me. The other one does finish though, and the Nick Battlemaster oh, will nice. sneak on through for a bit of aggression. Always nice to get those Nick ones in. But there's actually, yeah, force firing, I think, into the, the middle there, trying to get the workers with the radiation. But the walling off has been pretty fan <coughs> pretty fantastic there by Detox. So the Battlemaster won't be able to sneak in, we'll just have to fire over the balls. Yeah, really important to get that wall out there because it means that otherwise the workers could all get crushed. Still can force fire over the wall and you can see several of his workers are quite low, but the Battlemaster blows up from the RPG and that takes out three workers with him. So not exactly too bad there either. Technical driving around, looking to make some plays happen. Terrorist going forward here. Where did he come from though? I'm not exactly sure. I think that there was a tunnel network on the left hand side. Um, so I'm guessing over there. Tunnel Network in the middle does finish as well. It's gonna just run oh, straight into the War Factory. He's, oh, he's camping the War Factory as well. So the next unit that's come down, it's gonna die. It's gonna die pretty damn hard as well. I think one of the one of the good things about this map, the front line, is it's very, very spread out. So that benefits Nuke Battle Masters because they're really mobile. It's harder than to scout them out. But also the GLA workers, they can build tunnel networks and it's so hard to scout the entire map because of how big it is. Um, it means you can sneak in these tunnel networks and sneak in those te oh, no. ooh, technicals as well. Dozer gets caught out. So not only will Red Chill lose his Dozer, but also now Detox will be able to finish off that tunnel network and snipe some trucks. This is an excellent victory here for Detox, and I just realized Detox is playing GLA Toxin. Yeah, it is GLA Toxin, isn't it? <laughs> no, yeah. I, I knew that, but I mean, like, the, the pun of the name? Yeah. Detox? Oh, to God, yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> It's quite good. Pun points go to our GLA here, and veterancy points go towards a technical vet too, and already double scrap, so very, very powerful. Will it destroy that dragon tank? No problems at all. Vet 3, those are deadly. Those uber technicals, they, yeah. they're very powerful. It's about to 1v1 a war factory, and it wouldn't surprise me if it finishes off. A lot of flame tanks coming out of us. It's going to 1v1 the war factory. A lot wow. of flame tanks here coming out, though, from Chill, and he's going to have to make them work because he's losing a lot because he didn't build more battle masters to defend. Um, so those, those Dragon Tanks really have to make something happen here. Taking a lot of damage though from the Toxin Tunnel. Dragon Tanks cannot 1v1 the Toxin Tunnel. is one of the real strengths of GLA Toxin. Makes it much harder to deal with. Dragon Tank though going for the Firewall will kill the workers actually. So a good move knowing that he can't kill the Tunnel head on. But will be successful at killing a couple of the workers. Would have got all of them had that quad not been there. Meanwhile... Yeah, he's delaying the production there. One more of those Flame Tanks. is going to be Flame Walling up the middle though. All the quads will survive. The RPGs... I, I think they have their, their flame resistant hard hats on because they managed to survive the flame wall. They're just going to walk away. Back into the tunnel network they go with the world's most vetted and scrap score technical in. I think it took them about three and a half minutes to get full electricity and full scrap. Yeah, they do vet up pretty fast. It's pretty cray cray. Here is an outpost as well. Very good at defending your stuff against the technical. Handful of quads as well and the RPGs. A pretty nice unit mix coming out of Detox thus far. But how effective will it be? Pretty good kiting coming out of DJ Red Chill. Um, 
GJ Chill, of course, being one of the admins on game replays, but the Toxin quads are being destroyed alongside the Battle Masters here. Going in for the aggressive crush, though, takes up several of them. So taking out the entire army of Detox, but I have a feeling it wasn't very cost-effective. Yeah, not Chill. really. I think he suicided a few too many of those Battle Masters. If the initial couple went in for the explosion, probably would have traded a little bit better there. That being said, it's given him enough time to kind of solidify his right-hand side there for Detox. I think a Flame Tank finally cleared out um, the RPGs, though. At the cost of... It looks like the War Factory actually did go down to the, the scrapped technical, which is dropping off even more RPGs onto this supply. And I think that's the issue of going for these forward supplies. It's very easy for the GLA to take them out. Yeah, I think you really need to go for a fast Helix or MIGS because... Yeah. With a map this open and spread out, and given the distance between the supplies, you're really going to have a hard time defending against something so fast as the tech RPGs, or even a Rock Feast, for example. So Red Chill really getting punished for his inability to defend his bases, even despite the bunkers. So Detox looking pretty good right now. Has the only the two supplies though, and the old Derek. So Chill actually isn't as far behind as you might expect, because he has his two supplies rolling, yeah. where only two again for Detox. All Derek hasn't been captured though, so in that department, a little bit ahead here for Detox, no palace either being constructed. No, nothing yet. And it was Detox's base here. I'm thinking, wasn't there a war factory there before? And it was. It was It was Detox. He actually managed to take it over. So that's quite nice that he has moved onto the side. So after losing a few workers and trading very, very cost efficiently thus far with Red Chill, he should have a pretty good time. Red Chill has, I think, a flame tank on the left-hand side of the base. And there's one more pushing in now. I know it's a battle master, actually. So looking for a bit more aggression. Let's take out the barracks here. And more quads are going to be popped out. Yeah, to deal quads with are not happy about that dragon tank. We'll move in now to try and defend... The rest of it. Dragon Tank will get taken out, but here come the Nuke Battle Masters. Those are more than capable of taking out those quads. No problems at all. Really needs the RPGs to ward off those Battle Masters. We'll lose three of them. Bit of a blow there now for Detox. Nuke Battle Master still there on the flank, looking for some crushes, or maybe just to force fire that down. Nuke Battle Master! Oh, I think he took out a handful of those workers with the Nuke Battle Master. Yeah, I think he did actually. That was quite well done. RPGs are going to be running back into the tunnels now. I don't want to be crushed. By the new battle master, new battle master actually taking a fair bit of damage from those toxin tunnels. It's fairly substantial. Flame tank does get denied before it takes out the arm dealer as well. Yep. So the new battle master is inflicting their damage. So very very aggressive and suicidal play here, and a sneaky tunnel coming out of detox on the side just out of vision as well. So red chill, he doesn't know what's up, but that rally point. Oh, the rally got point. It. Yeah, he's over to the side there. So it depends if he forgets to move it. Oh, flame tank just denied. I was going to say, if he forgets to move our Battle Master out as soon as he builds it, then eventually it's going to scout out the, the tunnel network, but maybe not quite in time. We'll have to see. Tunnel network is almost finished there on the side, I'd say, and I'd like to see some more technical aggression coming out, or even RPGs, anything really. Still not revealed, or are yeah, revealed now. Really good placement there. There we go. I think that's revealed it. Yeah, RPGs. Yeah. But a little bit too late, as there's already that Vet 5 scary technical of Doom and all of his RPG companions along the quads will get the cell, but won't complete that. Now the supplies are within sight, but at the same time, the big scary army of the Nuke Battle Masters, Horde Bonus wasn't actually there, but it should have been there. Probably if they were more tight. Getting the cell straight away. Can get the crushes though on the workers. Bit of a blunder there for Red Chill, but trading base for base, there really is uh, all over the place this map. There we go, there's the Horde bonus. That's the Horde bonus. It's gone down there onto those Battle Masters. Should be having a, a pretty fun time. I think what he was going for was the suicide of that Battle Master as he moved it forward, but then the Toxin Tunnel was very scumbag and didn't actually kill it. So, Tunnel Network will be denied and everyone's just swapping positions on this map at the moment. Red Chill has a fair, kind of a solidified position on the left now. He's got his supplies up. He's got um, mines around them as well, Ooh. so hopefully we can hold that off. Oh no, my favorite technical! Oh, the mines that killed oh, this! Oh, that killed everything. Yeah, those five RPGs, that could have been game over. Had the RPGs just gone into one of those garrisons, that would have just killed everything. The supply, yeah. oil, the prop center as well, and that is a nuclear overlord. So all of a sudden, Red Chill having the tech advantage. Where is the palace detox? You need the palace. You definitely need the palace. That's something you want. Well, you're going to lose out in the tech race and just... These quad RPGs aren't going to cut it once those overlords start hitting the field. Once more stuff starts coming along. A couple more will be denied, though, on the side, which is nice. More mobility coming in. Now, I guess that's a cool thing about having all your buildings in the middle of the garrisons is you can get them denied by just putting RPGs inside something, and that's the best place to build it because you've got the oil derrick in there. That's where you're naturally... And you, your supplies are there, so you have to build your stuff. 
And Lotus, what's she going for? There at the side. She oh the oil, of course. I wasn't capped. I wasn't sure whether it was or not. So yeah, I really would like to see a flame tank for defense or just all these uh, garrisons being held because that could be very devastating if they are captured. And that is the command center, a good move. Wanting to rebuild that one. These battle masters can't quite do much with that many toxin tunnels. Very, very powerful on mass. Maybe able to take out the left flank, get that one isolated, then just take out the arm stealer. But it is a risky move that close to the tunnels, and that is a palace. Very, very important because, yeah, against the Overlord, you really need to have the Jarmans or the battle buses. Yeah, indeed. Did I pluralize right. Jarman? Jarmans? Jarmans. Yeah, I well, suppose you can. It's a bit hard to build more than one Jarman, though. Yeah, that's well, become quite difficult. Jarman. Jarman Kel. Individual Jarman. Uh, Dedox has taken away the natural of Red Chill, however. He's going to be farming that away. These new battle masters pretty much just being thrown away at this point. He managed yeah. to almost take out a, a tunnel. I think they were just clearing space for the flame tank to come in, but on the nice. same flank, it, it, it's going to get nice. destroyed. So that's yeah, really done. important targeting, sniping the flame tank straight away. New battle master does survive, and with the vet 2, he will start to regenerate his health. No problems at all, but I think if there's one word that you can use to summarize Red Chill's place, or well, two words, to summarize Red Chill's play, I, I, I'll give you the chance. Answer me. What are the two words that summarize Red Chill's play? I don't know if it's a pun or not. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I Uncost mean, effective. Un Uncost effective. <laughs> would, you, would you agree? I would agree. I yeah. would definitely agree. Red Chill has been throwing away quite a few units. But not really much gain other than... Oh, he's got tunnel networks here. That's that's interesting. It's nice for me to yeah. know that. It hasn't really been punished yet, but I feel it, it will be um, as the game goes later because um, Detox has managed to throw up all of these buildings at the main because of how cost-efficient his trades have been. But quads against overlords... Again, yep, the not, word is well, not cost efficient. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a single volley is all that's needed. Uh, I might even lose all of them. I think you battle masters are indeed faster than the quads. Well, there we go. The uncost effectiveness are on pretty even terms, but a I palace. Bet it's got to be garrison. Oh, no, that's what I'm that's talking deadly. about. Look at that overlord getting absolutely oh. destroyed. Won't take it out though. So that's why you you garrison your palace. That it's, is why it's a pretty big deal. It's a fairly big deal. This is why we we almost want to cry when we see people not garrisoning the palace. Yeah, because it can destroy overlords in a few volleys. It's yeah, extremely powerful. They get more range. Red Shield solidified. Yeah, solidified. And he's actually going for a nuke cannon, which I definitely agree with. He's going to need that to start sieging these tunnels properly, as well as the as well as the palace. Yeah. It's a pretty big deal. To be fair, no ECMs though for Red Shield. Yeah do make a big difference. Nuclear battle, nuclear battle Master will blow up the workers all down there. That's going to be no effect shade, but there is the Jarman. Where are the troop crawlers? Oh, that's a troop crawler. All right, good guy, Red Shield. Oh, Just, oh but Toxin Rebel ambush. Oh, wow. Will Gets... I get the cap? No, the nuke overlord blew it up. It killed them all. Yeah. <laughs> all of them died. Wow. That... So the cap didn't even go down. Yeah, the, the, the Toxin Rebels, I think by accident, just, you know, how they automatically attack. They automatically attacked the, the Overlord, yeah. which then blew up, blew killing up. all of them. Yeah. Oh, Jarman, uh, good guy. He's, oh, he's, he's on Sniper Patrol. He's going to cap it. No, he's uh, not. Oh, he was on Sniper Patrol. And though. unfortunately, here for Red Shield, the Gatling Overlord was destroyed. So there goes the detection. So only having the prop tower, but the siege continues here, taking out the arm dealer. Nice angle there from Red Chill, indeed going for the tunnel on the left by itself and not for its buddies in the corner here. So actually Red Chill doing some pretty great damage, but he has to be careful of the palace. Red Guard on mass can take out the palace. Not that uh, grouped up. Yeah, that's not exactly cost effective, but the RPGs uh, actually not doing that too bad damage because of the, um, the gamma radiation or something. For what? The, the rocket upgrade that Toxin start with. It's like... Um, yeah, Gamma... Gamma Toxin or something like that. I'm pretty sure it's Toxin. Something Toxin. So Gamma Toxin or something like that. 25% bonus. Yeah, it helps toxins, against infantry so, at least. Yeah. And that's a car bomb. Yeah, playing it safe. Even though he has a nuke cannon. That's what you want. Um, and we'll take that one out. And there's a Dozer in the corner. I'm not really sure what he's doing there. That's Jarman bait. That's a Dozer saying, Jarman, snipe and cap me, please. Please. You, you want power? You want power? Come get it. Um, finds the command center though, oh, so that's gonna be nice. nice Builds the barracks for the. Oh, that's a nice battle. Yeah, nice battle bus flying. I was wondering where Detox's units are. I was about to say, given how cost efficient this has been, where are his battle buses? And here's one of them. Um, hopefully, it'll be able to, to make something happen. I think. Are we gonna see a cap in the bottom? I'm pretty sure Red Guard are gonna come out of that and they're gonna. It's a Lotus! Nice. Wow, oh. Lotus. Oh, wow. The command center's gonna get capped. That's pretty next the level. The worker can't stop it. Build, build a barracks next to your opponent's command center so you can build a Lotus. Nice play, Red okay. Shields. And now he will put the pressure on. Can't use a red guard to attack the Toxin Tunnels because Toxin's pretty powerful here. Toxin is. That battle, oh no, gets the snipe with the Overlord. Yeah, playing it risky, not having any infantry. Going at the Force Fire down, but won't be able to. And will cap 
that overall. That's a pretty big deal now, especially with the prop tower. We'll give a pretty big buff to Detox's unit, so it's going to be a battle of micro here. Losing all of those red guard, though. Flame tank clearing them out. So Detox on the back foot, even a forward supply. But again, got to be careful. The Jarman is going to snipe your dozer, take your cookies, and use it to build a power plant. They will indeed. And red Chill, he's having a pretty good time this far. I'm not really sure what Detox can do to come back from this one. I think... I think all his money just went on, on building more workers and the amount of toxin tunnels that he actually has lost because wow. he's built a lot of toxin tunnels. Um, uh, yeah, indeed a lot. I mean, they are pretty powerful and I think Red Shield's offering Detox another overlord. Um, like a... a like a peace terms peace offering. offering yeah. or something so, like yeah, that. Take this like, overlord. Yeah, have an overlord. Please don't attack me for the next five minutes. But the Lotus will neutral. Well, actually, the Lotus won't break the cease fire because she's capping a supply. Yeah. So. I don't think that really counts. No. I don't know. We'll have to ask the UN, but the <laughs> battle bus will decide who dies and he will decide to kill both of those battle masters whilst the Jarman caps the overlord. Another one, but I guess at the same time it means this overlord will drive away unscathed. But yeah, getting a lot of overlords here needs to get more of those troop claws, troop crawlers, or even just having like a helix with a Gatlin yeah. cannon just for anti Jarman. Have to be careful the battle bus though, but it is nice to have that that sort of anti air. Jarman seems quite discriminatory. I, th I have to say, I mean, he didn't take the offered overlord and said went for one that actually the was in tower. an engagement. So yeah, well, with the prop tower, exactly. He's he's discriminating against non-upgraded overlords, and I just don't know how I feel about that. To be honest, well, so. it's it's the businessman. You know, <laughs> he, he's here to you know win a war. He, he can't he, let he his can't personal grumpen, feelings yeah, in, in, get in the way of that. Yeah, I mean, I I respect that. I do. Uh, what what else I respect is yeah, two overlords now for for detox. That's a huge deal. As if he can get some more battle buses out as well, he's in a very, very nice position. I think he lost his palace, though. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have a palace. No palace? That could be bad. Yeah, he's going to have to rebuild it. So, for now, the battle bus count will be only the one, and that's even more important. Lotus, though, may get destroyed by the quad. Yep, Ooh, gets destroyed. destroyed. But forcing the cell on the arms dealer, pretty effective there, especially when Red Shield has a fair bit of cash in the yeah. bank. I think we're getting uh, down the bottom here, um, onto the base. I think we've got a... Um, oh, wow. Oh, there's a Helix. Helix, Fantastic. Yeah, coming out. That is that is exactly what I would like to see. That's full of RPGs. So it's going to be good against the battle. I can't click the back button because my V is blocking it. I'm going to have to move that. Yeah, I'm probably uh, going to have to, but oh. the Helix, it can't move away from the battle bus fast enough. Gets destroyed there. Hardcore takes out the dozer as well. The helixes are getting shredded by one battle bus. Oh, the Jarman was inside of the battle bus and takes out the Lotus with a single shot. And this battle bus, he's he's the definition of cost efficiency, taking out the entire base in the corner for Red Chill, losing the Lotus, losing the dozer, the helix full of RPGs. Yeah, making a very, very big difference. Having those RPGs with the upgraded Toxin Gamma means that they track a lot more effectively against the Helixes. Definitely right. You can't really kite as well as you can, but even then the Helix was a bit too close. That's a bit of a blow. Had the Helix been behind the Garrisons, the Garrisons could have saved the Helix, warding off the Battle Bus, but all of a sudden, Detox now doing pretty well for himself. Bear in mind, with the Cash Bounty, he's getting a whole bunch of money, as we can see his bank looking pretty healthy at the moment. Definitely is as well, and that battle bus still as healthy as ever. Helix is going up again. Wouldn't want to be that Helix right now. The battle buses are balling hard. And that's Red Chills Overlords moving in right now. They're going to start firing down on those tunnel networks, but they don't really matter at this point. Oh, the battle bus nice. gets taken out here. There's a lot of RPGs in that garrison, all the tank hunters. Yeah, but actually the battle bus may even win the win garrison war. wars. Yeah. Now the Jarman will snipe them on the ground. Overlords taking them out. It is risky going for the tunnels without the troop crawler for the garrison. Cap, but again, the Jarman was in the battle bus. bus. Yeah, he's up there. Oh, here he is. He's, yeah, he's I out, see out in front of the RPGs, yeah. running, Leading the way. running fast. A little bit faster than actually realize yeah. that. Yeah, he is faster. Vet one as well. I don't even know what Vet does on Jarman, though, to be honest. Rate of fire? Rate of fire, I'm pretty sure. Um, artillery comes in as well. Going to be taking out all the workers on that supply. Doesn't quite take out the supply, though, unfortunately. But this just survive. Yeah, indeed. I think Jarman's got to be happy that this is Zero Hour and not coming to Heroes. Because if it was coming to Heroes, <laughs> all he would get would be Signal Flares. Sign and that sucks. He wouldn't be happy with you Signal Flares. You wouldn't want to have Signal, nah, signal Flares. Jarman would not would not be even slightest be happy with that. Detox forced a long way back. And He'd be good against Lotus, though, wouldn't it? Hmm? He'd be good against Lotus. He'd be good against Lotus. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Trips signal over flares reveals Lotus. Anyway, supply being rebuilt. And the problem here for Red Shield is these supplies have been exhausted. Yeah. And these ones are running out. They're running pretty low. So they're all Derek's are going to come into power. No tunnels here for defense. What is in the Helix? Let's ask my numpad six. 
Nothing. Number is... six says nothing. No, no. nothing. Oh, no. what? No, just kidding. There's a flame tank. Called it. Oh, Called it. Oh, wow. I knew it. Good call. Nice. Well done, Rachel. That's a, that's a, that's a dirty move. Yeah, that it is. is a dirty move. That's pretty dirty, but it, very effective. Um, oh, here come the overlords and the RPG getting the snipe. That's three oh, no. against one. A simple numbers game here and detox. He did pretty well in his high school maths exam. We'll win this engagement. Especially with those RPGs destroying the base here of Red Show. There's just too many overlords just here for so Detox. so much demolished. Now he's got three overlords. Did he really need three overlords? Apparently uh, so. But Carpet Bomb, oh, I think he will need three overlords because he's going to lose two of them right here. And now, only one of them survives. And my mouse died. The Carpet Bomb was too much. Yeah. And the uh, overlord, yeah, that guy survived just close. The bait is real. Yeah, calculate. Calculate, definitely. Here, have an overlord. Not really, oh, though. Man. Finds the command nice. center again. I Red Shell this. is a genius. Just always in the corner, though. I think Detox is getting a little bit predictable. This is second quarter. And he had one in the bottom corner. He's like, that's not very safe. Moves up oh, to the no. Oh, the rebel ambush. Yeah, the helix finishes off. But the flame gets it oh, anyway. No. And the helix now. He's going to have a pretty good time. But even then, should just yeah, go. The helix should go for the tunnel. Yeah, for the hole. Uh, King of the, the Napalm, maybe he yeah. wants the Veterancy, gives him more health regeneration, so actually, this is working out pretty well for him. Yeah, Veterancy is really hard to get on Helixes. You always get the crew, the RPGs the with the Veterancy, yeah. but now it's going to be harder to kill. So actually, that's a, a pretty big blow there, but now if the Helix, if it focuses the worker, how do we how do we focus them? Guard mode! Guard mode. Guard mode. One of the first levels. Ah! Yeah, nice. Yeah, he knows. Thank you, game replays, tip of the week, number something. Something, yeah. Um, guard mode's good. Nice. But the, I mean, the problem with doing the mines, though, is the workers can clear them. And the, yeah. when the workers are so close, it's, it's not easy. exactly hard they to do. Fast. But he may lose the vet to Helix to the quads. Yeah, he does. Down. And that is a big shame there. Now, to a Gat troop crawler, that's better. But will it be enough? Still, those garrisons are occupied by some of the tank hunters of Red Chill. So if he stays around here, he will be just a little bit safer. I would like to see maybe a couple more Gats. Um, but again, where are the ECMs? He's going to need those against the... Uh, the he yeah, he really does. He hasn't actually built any yet. Yeah, um, they would be nice, though. Uh, definitely against the battle buses, if nothing else. I really even... do need them. There's still no palace, though. So still no, yeah, still, still no will be battle bus, but... No, oh, he loses an overlord, overlord to that to garrison. garrison. Yeah, that's nuts there indeed. And now the overlords, well, overlord of Detox... I forgot there's only one of them now. Um, is moving. Still the Jarman, though. Actually, did the Jarman survive that engagement? I'm pretty sure Jarman is still alive. As far as I'm aware, Jarman is, is sitting in a channel network chilling. He's having a cup of tea. He's he, he's worked hard today. Sniped several overlords. So yeah. I think he's, he's, he's well deserving for a break. Force fires down that garrison, which is going to be nice. Doesn't really want any garrisons taken near his worker line. They are, he really needs the supplies at yeah. this point. And this is actually really important. If Red Shield can deny these supplies, then Detox is going to be in a bit of trouble because Detox is running low on his middle supplies here. Only over a thousand left, and I'm pretty sure Red Chill, yeah, was actually able to destroy the old Derek. So there's no old Derek here. And Red Chill still has his own, and he's actually getting hackers now as well. So, okay, interesting. Yeah, play, even he has several hackers, actually. So this yeah. is looking really good Playing for Red for Chill. Game. But bear in mind, all it takes is a toxin... What is it called? The, the big bomber, badger bomber, with the toxin... What, the, um... The and gang... Oh, De wow. Delays Vet 5. I, no, you just give me a second and I'll tell you. Anthrax Bomb. Uh, anthrax ah, damn anthrax it, Bomb. Damn it. I win. I forgot. Yeah, it is the Anthrax Bomb, of course. Casting too many games now. We have to remember 10,000 abilities. And that's not a well timed tunnel pop. It's a bait that. Oh, no, hand. Where's the cover bomb going? Oh, uh, wrong way. Oh, it's down to the bottom. Oh, uh, okay. Fair enough. Um, you really want to deny those workers. It's going to kill everything. So Yeah, again, denying that. That goes to the income here. Detox doesn't have a lot of money. No, he doesn't. He's down to 750. He did just lose one of his two worker lines as well. You know what I would love to see? If, if like, Red Duke gets another helix, he puts the new cannon in the helix and then just leaves it down here and starts blowing up the yeah. supplies. That would be cool. I don't actually know if you can put new cannons uh, in the strike coming in, though. though. Yeah, well, yeah. that's... That's a, a good response to my question. Arty Strike going into the arms dealer will take it out. Very, very important with such little money here for Detox. Every snipe is important. This technical, though, looking to avenge his fallen comrades. Long distance mining. Long distance mining. That's what I thought. Nice. I thought we were going to see another army of supply trucks. You remember that game? Just like running in and crashing workers and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that was cool. So that was a cool game. Well, I don't think Detox knew that was there, but I think he's happy to find those because that's going to go even more income. And do we have any defense? Well, hackers won't be very effective, but Ooh, a new battle, battle master, master might be. Yeah. I think that'll do. 
We get to Rebel. Oh, that's nice. Into the garrison. Fantastic play. So now they're going to be able to deny the supply docks as, they, as they're going back and forth. Yeah. All of a sudden, that, that's a hazardous route right there. No. I don't know if you can actually 1v1 that with a battle master. We I need to get a flame yeah, tank. You can manually micro it around, but that's going to be a pain in the ass. Doing that would take a lot of time up. Toxin, toxin trucks. Just the regular trucks, I meant to say. Yeah, they're getting taken out here. This is not actually ideal by any means. Vet 2 as well. Going on to the... I think it's Vet 3 now. Yeah, that's going to be deadly. I wonder if the colour changes. If there was, like, occupational no. health and safety guys, they're like, Supply trucks, you don't have to do this. They're, they're, they're trying to get money for their families and just, like... Oh, no, but look at this Toxin hard. Rebel ambush. Takes out the new cannon as well. And a sneak attack on oh, the wow. back lines. Red Chill. The combination. What do you have apart from your hackers? He has a EMP, though, but a nice pop in the tunnel will prevent the quads from being destroyed but it evac straight away nice. and surprisingly Solid you can play. evac whilst emp yeah really nice yeah control. you can evac those ones while while you're actually emp which is nice and the toxin rebels oh, as well man. they can be firing away onto the barracks i have to say detox's play i'm so impressed with it thus far yeah, i mean he's just been playing extremely good generals and chill like what does he have he, he has no units see all of these units are down here and he can't really do much with them because of the garrisons and that close to the tunnel with the threat of the Jarman losing their hackers and pretty much the entire base puts Chill in a pretty unshield position. Has another airfield. Everything's getting capped though. It's being mm. taken away now. All the rebels, they've can't got that capture the upgrade. Area. Yeah, if he goes for the... There's, a, there's so much stuff and there's just no defense here from Red Chill. He can't deal with these these rebels. He's got the, the carpet bombs. Um, he should really cap that power. Well, carpet um, bomb no longer available because of the commander yeah, being destroyed. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. He, he had the carp up on the arty strike, but I think Decox just using his command abilities a little bit more effectively. His general's abilities just more effectively. Flame Tank is moving in to clear out the, the rebels, though. Yeah, that war factory in a bit of trouble as well. What can the airfield bring? There's no RPGs, so he can't really use those to, to turn that around and deal with those quads. As the hackers, though, so if this one plays out to the long game, then, well, maybe the hackers can turn it around. But at the moment, with the all direct being captured by T-Tox, he's going to be feeling pretty comfortable about that. Definitely. Especially if he can hold on to it as well. Red Chill being forced completely off the top-hand side now. Red Guard being taken out. There's still a small army from Red Chill down the bottom waiting to swoop in. Here we go. Swooping in now. Yeah, Detox is getting a fair bit of money. He's going to afford a palace now if he so desires. Loses that... Gat probably should have sent the Overlord in first, and still these garrisons are going to be a huge pain in the ass because the 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 uh, Red Guard just aren't that effective. No, they're definitely not. With the upgrade now, the Toxin Tunnel as well. I think he's looking for the garrison. Yeah, he yeah, is he indeed. Wants that one. It's actually a pretty good move because now he's going to be able to gun them down. But a Toxin Rebel in that garrison will be able to clear him out, but still taking out all of those workers will slow down the income. But that Toxin Rebel will clear it out. There we go, destroyed. So. Not very effective, and the Overlord is running out of Red Guard to cap it if it gets sniped. But still, I think I think the Jarman actually was destroyed. Yeah, I think he must have been at some point. Another arm still going bomb. down here for Detox. Let's see if that pays off the command center. It's almost finished now for Red Chill. He's kind of solidified a position. Oh, he has a bunker well. now, which uh, is better than nothing. That's so. probably why Detox didn't push. Yeah, yeah, because he couldn't really push through the bunker, which actually was surprising. Because yeah, I thought Detox would have won then just with that Overlord. And Anthrax Bomb will take out some of those hackers if they're within range. It's a pretty big hitbox, so probably yeah, can kill them. Might almost get there. Not wow. quite. Yeah, I guess the truck. Yeah. But there's no trucks mining, and that was not a very effective Anthrax Bomb by any means. He killed a truck which wasn't mining, and the Nuke Battle... Yeah, Nuke Battle Master will get taken out eventually. I think he was hoping that the hackers weren't moved, because that's where the hackers were before. Ah, uh, okay. Previously, the hackers were there, and they actually got moved down from their previous position. Battle Master... Will go down. He's preventing pops from the, the the bunker, but not really taking advantage of the fact he's preventing the the, the pops. The what? The pops. So no, he can't evac from that that bunker. He can't move Why the units around if you if you push down to the bottom. If I was oh, expecting okay. Dedox to push down the bottom and go for the command center. There's no tunnels, um, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing to move into though. Yeah, again, he's just gonna throw down the minefield because now he can just clear it. Like if if the minefield was like here, for example, or here, then that could press possibly get some units as they go to attack but with the helix the overlord troop crawler flame tank i mean this is a pretty good unit mix that red yeah. shield can use pretty effectively but a toxin rebel ambush once again takes out the entire army with little effort waits a little bit too long there detox uh has those command abilities uh, those general abilities available again helix is chilling around the place he's got to be careful though flame tank has been taken unfortunately couldn't quite defend that and now with the 
Overlord and like gone. I mean, all of a sudden there isn't really much way to deal with the Overlord of. Oh, look at that flame tank! Like fully heroic already. Helix though, mega taken out by the quad as the rebels did take out. Going for the evac on the ground. That's actually a flame tank, so no RPGs. Helix though, very very important. Got to hold on to that one if possible. And will fly away. So that's very important there. And those RP toxin rebels. Will get taken out. A carpet bomb here actually doing some pretty good damage. Yeah, carpet bomb combined with the artillery strike, which was near the arm seal. I think it actually probably took it out, judging from, as you can see, the pock marks from all the previous artillery <laughs> strikes. You had an arm seal here, here, and here previously. And here. And, and here as well, yeah. Not anymore, though. Arm seals were taken out. Hackers are still hacking strong. Starting to get a, a little bit of veterancy there as they, they work their way around the internet. Stealing money for China. Uh, I hope they find our channel. Uh, I hope so. It's on there, guys. You hit bet, did you know you can hit Vengeance 4 by subscribing to the General Cinema YouTube oh, really? channel? Oh, really? Yeah, it's oh. a legit thing. Well, <laughs> I, I do think Red Shield should be prioritizing the old Derek. He should just kill it with an old Derek. No, with a, kill it with an artillery strike. Because you kill a supply, it just rebuilds itself. Or, you know, it gets rebuilt by a worker. But the old Derek, if that gets destroyed, no way for Detox to rebuild that. And that is giving a pretty substantial amount of income, especially mm. because it's infinite. The old, the supplies here will run out eventually so i think that's a bit of a blow and we have seen so many games just be lost because the other player just forgets or doesn't bother to actually take care of that old derek yeah it's a, kind of a huge deal there's a lot of hackers on the ground if, if red shield takes out the the oil derek that's it that's game and as you're saying it is something we see all the time people just leave yeah. more derek's alive all and loses the them games but the oh, problem uh, is though i mean these hackers are just waiting to get destroyed by yeah. a anthrax bomb. That is a sneak, sneak attack, attack though. Where is it? Right Ooh, near the nice hackers. Position. Again, where is their army here for Red Chill? There's a helix. Yeah, but what is inside of it? He has a bunker, but a Vet 3 fully heroic quad looking pretty scary. That's another EMP bomb. By the looks of it, we'll actually get the quad. It does. That will allow the helix to swoop in and take him out. No killing cannon onto the overlord, only a prop tower. And you can, I don't know if you can go back in. I'm not sure whether you can go back into a. I don't know. You might be able to into a into a. EMP tunnel, but saving the EMP for those sneak yeah, attacks nice. is, is really well played from Red Chill. He saves them until he sees the sneak attack come out and then it goes, I'd like an EMP there, please. And it's, it's been paying <laughs> off like all of these times. Yeah. That's, that's what's been keeping these sneak attacks from taking him out. Helix is still alive as well. Man, this game's turning pretty intense. I thought Red Chill had it, but Detox's play has just been pretty damn superb. Well, because now with the Overlord destroyed, there isn't really any hard counter to the new Battle Masters. If yeah. Red Chill starts to spam out some Battle Masters against the quads, all he really has to rely on is these garrisons, which actually is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's a flame to get, tank. Yeah, flame tanks, but then there's, you know, the flame tanks aren't always that effective, especially against the Toxin Rebel Ambush. So, yeah, I mean, how much money does Detox have? Actually, a fair bit. And it's got a decent I amount. think it might not be a bad idea just to go for a Jarman. Like, it's, it's a big investment, but it just has so much potential to pay off. The cost efficiency list late in the game, when there's just not many units out on the ground, is, is pretty huge. By sniping a unit, you snipe half of your opponent's army, yeah. which is kind of huge. Uh, Helix has actually got some, some, some tank hunters in there now. Has that bunker upgrade. He's going to be used in conjunction with this carpet bomb that's coming in. Nice. That's probably going to work. Yeah, if he goes for the garrisons, then... I hope it hits. Yeah, look, those garrisons will it's be destroyed, work. as well as the RPGs inside of them. All of a sudden, the Helix will have free reign to deny the supply. But even then, the old Derek is still mining. That's something to consider with some RPGs yeah. and those garrisons for defense. Helix, what are we doing? There's no buildings. Taking out the holes, oh. but even that Stinger side, nice a play. Stinger side, fantastic. So much damage from the Stinger side. Yeah, they're, they're pretty hard. Oh, it's going into range uh, again. Oh, no, he loses it. Uh, Why did he fly no. back in? Because Why? that's the supply. That's the important building. I think he killed the barracks, yeah. but he did not kill that one. Stinger side with the Toxin Gamma, whatever the hell it's called. Very, very powerful. Took the Helix out in like four shots, four volleys. Yeah, it was hardcore, yeah. That's what Stinger Sides are good at. They're anti-air and not much else, but you, you, when you get to see them doing anti-air work, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Supply being thrown up on the bottom here, and oh, Toxin Rebels gunning down the airfield as well, and no way to deal with them, apparently. Oh, well, no, I'm just kidding. In. There's a Helix, and again, more veteran seat for the Helix machine. A lot of vet though, I'm not sure what they killed, probably some hackers. I think yeah. there were hackers I up there. I think there were hackers in the, in the so, rear. Yeah, not a lot. Anthrax Bomb will take out the truck. Actually, that one has supplies. I'm not sure how that happened, yeah. but there are supplies. Also down here, Red Chill is mining up his own supplies. 
Detox will probably try the same, but that's a sneak attack. Are there any RPGs inside of the bunker? Not yet, but there will be quite soon. Oh, artillery strike came in. I just heard it through our awesome headsets. The quads are starting to fire. You Take out lost. the dozer. That's uh, a huge the deal. The timing here is so important because if the bunker is empty, there's no way for Red Shield to defend it. And with those quads, how can he d he get those RPGs? Here comes the strike. Nice. Fantastic, takes out the sneak attack and all the quads, but more importantly, that will allow the red guard and the tank hunters to get inside of the bunker. And that's Toxin Rebel, that's not actually an RPG, so the Helix can take out the old Derek, which he should do, but that's a vet. Ooh, quad, two though. quad, yeah. Two quad coming in. Gotta be careful. I don't know what's in the Helix, I don't know what's good, what it's actually gonna drop off here. Maybe a flame tank, but. Well, it's gonna get taken out. Oh no, quad. No. Helix, evac, 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 evac. Now it's too late. It's gone down. It's going. What? Oh, what? It's alive. The Helix lives, That's ladies insane. and gentlemen. That's pretty and that lucky. And that is just so crucial because, again, this late into the game with such little money, every unit counts, especially when they have the veterancy. Red Shield really should be more attentive. Needs to get a Battle Master just to deal with these quads because the other one could be flanked. If there is one more quad, it can be sent upwards. Dedox has some money still, but he won't be able to just mine down here. No, he won't for the moment. So, Flame Tank is moving out. It's trying to deal with the quad, I think, up the top there. Helix walks away from oh, it's this one. Two. It's Vet 2 now. It, it's it's regenerating. What's it actually... What did it have? It had a Flame Tank. So that could have been devastating if the old deck was actually taken out, which it wasn't. Um, it's going to now. And the, yeah. the quad, Helix. it's on the hunt. Helix. It's been searching for days and has finally found no. the Helix. The Helix is going to go down this time. No way it's getting out of this. Yeah, look, That's small. really should be paying more attention because the Vet 2 Helix with five tank hunters has so much potential. And because of the self-repair, it means that you can you can engage the quads, not fully commit, get some snipes and, and just regenerate your health and do it again. Because normally you have to build a, a prop tower on the helix to do the same thing. Oh, outrunning the toxin tunnel and actually going for the command nice. center here. He might get there. And He's going to start flame walling, but I don't know what's going to deal with that. I, I guess the quad has to move in like now. The quad, it went to the tunnel. It's It went to the tunnel. No, the command center is going to go down. The oil derrick goes down at the same time. Red Shield taking out all of the important buildings here. Yeah, without the toxin rebel ambush, he lost more hackers. There's no yeah, more hackers. There's no more hackers. Was that another anthrax bomb? Must Talk, have been. I'm, I'm assuming it was another anthrax bomb on top. Yeah, really, the battle of the support powers here, but without the commands in it, there goes the support powers for detox. So Red Chill in a pretty good spot. Still not really mining a lot, though, because of the quads down here. But this game is getting pretty tense with such little income, General, such little units. The stakes are very, very high. But the cash bounty always is pretty good. And the Vet 3 quad. May just win the game, even another quarter as well, but I think there's, yeah, literally no Is there income. a Lotus on the field? Lotus? I could have sworn no, I just saw... That wasn't Lotus. No, it can't be, no. Prop tower. No, I thought I saw supplies get stolen, but it might have oh, been Oh, maybe the, the support power. Might have been the support power. Ooh, maybe. Might have been details. Is there an arm I'm not deal? sure. There's an arm I deal. thought I saw somewhere, I thought I, I thought I saw it. Yep, so. selling tunnels. You don't get a lot from selling tunnels, because to compensate for the fact that you get RPGs. Would be kind of broken if you would get a tunnel, get two RPGs and sell it for $400. Yeah, would be quite, quite hilarious. Rebooting so the command center, very, in, very important. In the corner spot the Detox loves so dearly. I don't think it's going to be safe there. That's that's where Red Shell looks. He searches well, for those corners. It, w it would be safe if Red Shell no, wasn't rebuilding anybody. his air no field. And the quads, where did they come from? No tunnel, getting a nice flank and will take it out, avoiding the bunker entirely. Will the cell actually finish? Looks as though it will. It's important that it yeah, does. Pretty important indeed, because now Red Shield can afford another supply comfortably, but even then, Red Shield actually, he's fine because there were no more supplies anyway. Yeah, that was it. The, the supply truck was done and dusted. He goes back there, doesn't need the supply anymore. It's the cell order off and some rebels can be pushing in onto that bunker. Another mine drop by the looks so. of it. Toxin Rebel's not very good against the buildings, though, but they will take it out eventually. Mine drop a little bit too far back. One of them does get taken out. I don't and... think there's any red guard in there. Yeah, but it doesn't even matter, because the Toxin Rebels are just doing no damage. Quad, though, will destroy that bunker incredibly fast if the RPGs don't target the quad back in time. Yeah, the, the one downside of Toxin Rebels, <laughs> look at that quad, is being refocused, but not in time. Yeah, Toxin Rebels destroy those garrison RPGs straight away, and... That is a pretty important victory for Detox, because now, unless these gets recaptured, 
then, you know, Red Shield doesn't really have much defense, apart from the nuke Battle Masters, which is actually what he really needs, but the nuke Battle Masters can get destroyed by the Toxin Red Bull Ambush, which is now yeah. once again available. Definitely is indeed, so the Comfort Bomb's gonna be coming in, it's going for... Whoa! Oh, whoa. The Helix went down! To a quad, an individual quad. Bit of a misplay there. Yeah, indeed. Probably an EMP, I would say. Yeah, yeah an EMP. Yeah, EMP. Saves Crushed his down. power, but now that may allow a sneak attack to go in. Nice crush with the Battle Master taking out all of those rebels in the quad. Yeah, I mean... Battle all... Master's coming down, but I think it's going to be too slow. So Artie Strike take it as out. well. Artie Strike probably on the quad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where's it? Oh, no. And the sneak it's gonna attack. Be it's going to be capped. I think it's going to be game over here for Red Shield. Because the new Battle Master can't deal with a garrison without the help of a dragon tank. But the power will survive at least very, very long duration. Yeah, Actually, it's no. It's super long. May even finish off the power. It's Battle Master, close. though, won't let that one happen. No, we'll take out the survives. quad. Selling off, going for, Command Center for the cap even. So, Red Shield running out of time is building a flame tank now. I, I would don't think predict. it's going to get out of time. I hope he's putting one now. Oh, the rebels are going to go in for the cap now. They've got a garrison. Oh, right what? Oh, that really early sell order there. At least try and delay those rebels. Yeah, didn't get the, the, the uh, flame tank. What? Well, I mean, what, did, what does Red Shield have left? He's, I don't know what he has. Those dozer in the corner. Dozer in the corner. And that's putting a... Command wow. center. Wow. He really These wants, guys do not give up. Yeah, I think Red Shield wants to win by sheer force of the support powers. But a flame tank would have held his base. Like, there was yeah. there was a quad, but he still had the battle master. So he could have defended that one, I reckon. Probably could have. Yeah, the Battle Master there as Battle well. Master's like, I don't see in. why he, he sold that. He could have had that, I reckon. Flame Tank can 1v1, like that many with enough firewall. Many, that being said, Detox, they actually lost a fair few buildings because Detox fired back with the support weapons at the same, at the support powers, sorry, as as the, the attack was coming in. So all this stuff, I think, for Detox is the command center. Do you know if you lose a game if you lose everything but tunnels? I think yeah. you do. Yeah, you do. Um, oh, wow. I, I don't think tunnels count, as far as I'm aware, especially not sneak attack tunnels. Well, Detox is incredibly close to being able to afford a barracks. All it takes is, is one one more kill, whether it be the Battle Master or maybe even just a couple of, of garrisoned infantry. Maybe never support a supply truck. Yeah. And then Detox can put a barracks, so then he won't lose to support powers killing his command center. A warrior has fallen. Nuke Battle Master looking to claim some of these Toxin Rebels. Gotta be careful though, because they're actually doing some pretty okay damage. That will give him the money that he needs! He's gonna afford a enough? barracks. Yep. 500. Yep. Yep. I think it's 500. Maybe more. Something around oh, that. Oh, you can kill the dozer if you oh, lose that. Oh, wow. Is it gonna be in time though? The dozer's starting to build. Where is it? I'm not there sure it where is. it is. I, I think the dozer's yeah, gonna finish. Oh, Will. The dozer finishes the command center. Uh, but we'll lose. The bomb is the anthrax bomb. The dozer. Too late. And maybe even the battle master if he doesn't get out. The battle master will get out. Yeah. The dozer won't though. He's fine, but. Look, again, every little kill is so important. Red Shield can afford another dozer, but, like, what's he going to build? Yeah, I don't know. Scouts it out there with his truck. That's yeah. really important. Oh, he found it. Yeah, he finds it finally. That's what he was looking for. He was looking oh, yeah. for the command center, because I'm pretty sure that's the last building. I'm not sure if he knows it's the last building, but the barracks are starting to be built now. If the support camp powers come in, but I think they're still on cooldown. Yeah. Like, another 30 seconds or so? How long until the barracks? I think the barracks. No, the truck's gonna deny the worker from building the building the barracks, but it's right near a tunnel. And the garrison. And the as garrison well. as well. The garrison might stop the truck from going for the crush. Yeah, the thing is as well though. To bear in mind, well, actually, he's sending his RPG and the, the might uh, be enough. Yeah, his RPG and the red guard to destroy to the um the barracks. The other thing as well to bear in mind though is, is there a quad? For detox, and if there is, he can probably one v one the battle master because it was on half HP. If not, with the help of those rebels, yeah, those rebels can take out that battle master unless he jukes around a garrison. Nice work. He During the garrison, the garrison is very important. He's gonna have to juke around a garrison to get the crushes. But I think the quad though, or maybe just juke behind the command center. So what's that? What's that um, coming out of? I don't know be... actually. Guessing that was a mind drop. Yeah, it was. So that's pretty well placed. Gets one of I mean, them. It's gonna oh, of them. No, oh no, the battle master doesn't want to be there. He throws it he away. The, he gets the explosion though, and I think two or more of the rebels are gonna go down to the radiation. No, no. they just survive. So they're gonna start on the command center now. But the he's barracks gonna cap it. was finished. The barracks was finished. It's that might be game over. How much money does does Red Chill have? That's <laughs> not enough for a dozer. Uh, that's not the amount you want. But the the oh no, the cover bomb is coming in. But it's going to be too late and the barracks is already built. That's going to be game over. Oh, Rebel Am there it is, Rebel though. Ambush. He's going to actually take out. out the Rebels, but there's so many the of them. Doses. He's buying he's really himself some time. He's buying himself time. He might, uh. <laughs> but the barracks is still up. I don't know if he can he can keep this alive. The dose is still alive. Here comes the carpet bomb. Yeah, and Artie Strike as well. Enough. Probably 
won't be even no, with the whole. No, I don't think even with the arty track is gonna be enough. <laughs> and that's a mass that, cap. Is that enough? Yeah, Rebels, look, you think, or? I don't know if you can cap more than that. And a Sell it. sneak attack. Oh, if he sells it, he loses. Yeah, though. that's gonna be it here. That's... That must be game. Oh, there's a barracks actually. What? <laughs> the barracks lives, but the. It's just the shell of the barracks. Yeah, the the tunnel is still still nearby. Wow. And it, it's pretty close to being taken out. No tunnel. Oh no, there's a sneak attack. He can actually put a toxin rebel into there. Sneak attack. Evac it from this tunnel. Yeah. Destroy the barracks husk. Yeah. Doesn't have a vision though. Oh, he can't see it. He no. doesn't know. <laughs> wow, the plays here are ridiculous. Rachel. He's going for the he's going for the cap, I think. But there's a quad. The quad's gonna stop the cap. <laughs> Such a good attempt though. Had that quad not been there, this may even be a victory for Yeah, Red but Chill. the barracks is up. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't he can't deal with the barracks. Not with is the he, quad. What's, he's got a unit on the left. What is that? I think that's just a rant. That's a hot oh, hacker. That's oh, a hacker. <laughs> what? The hacker lives. You can't see that. That's really clever, actually. Yeah. Gets the worker, but the quad. We'll try and deal with that RPG in the oh, garage. Wow, the he RPG. may even kill the it. The RPG might take out the quad. But the quad wants to snipe oh, down running. the red guard, red guard around the, the garrison. corner. If he loses the red He's guard, alive. there goes his capping. The garrison keeps the red guard alive. And, and now, it's time to fire at the, the oh command center. Oh my god, but the he quad. He doesn't know the barracks. He doesn't know the barracks is there. Nah, the, the, the red, red guard, guard though has to be careful. The quad can juke around the side. This may even decide the game because it's just nothing time. more. There's All there is left. is the Toxin Rebels. The Toxin Rebel ambush must be available quite soon and that will clear out the RPG. And of course the Red Guard, unless it gets capped in time. The Red Guard must the be quad, though, is looking for the quad though is looking for the flank. It's going for the long flank. It's repairing from the garage. That may be the deciding factor here, but even just playing it safe, trying to gun down the command center because he knows that the quad will deny the cap. Yeah, he doesn't really want to risk the Red Guard going in there for the cap because he's putting out some yeah. damage. Backs the Red Guard away straight away. This game is insane. And still... But Ooh, still, I think he sees it now. Rebels. I think he sees it. Uh, no! No, the, the Rebels are going to get yeah, it. The Rebel has more range than yeah. what the tunnel does. Ah, uh, I don't want to see... I want to see uh, the, the, the Rebels gonna go the game. Ah, uh, uh, Red Shield's uh, defeated. Well... Game. That was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> that, was pretty <laughs> that was intense. Yeah, I, I think... The problem for Red Chili is Helix Preservation really left something yeah, to be desired. Work. There was like, I think, four Helixes that died to just just quads just killing them and just no yeah. reaction. Which was a shame because with those Helixes, he probably could have taken out the quads, but a really fantastic game from Red Chill and Detox. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, well done. That was awesome. Well, I love seeing games go down to the wire like yeah, that. That's, that's the real. The stakes are high. Yeah, that's real zero. Well... And thank you, Red Chill Detox, for not playing on Tortum Desert. Cheers, was very guys. entertaining. Yeah, again, a very aggressive map. Because yep. of how split up the the supplies are, you can't just camp them behind static defenses like you can on Tortum Desert. You really have to be mobile with your army. I think that's one thing that Red Chill lacked as well in the early game. Should have got MIGs out really quickly and would be able to defend yep. against his, those tech RPGs. Definitely think so. So that was the front line, if anyone was interested in playing on the map. I think I will. Looks cool. <laughs> yeah. It's a fun game. So Indeed. yeah, that was that was really well played actually. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Red Chill being very, very ahead on money, thanks to those hackers, I think, more than yep. anything else. So. And I think this game yeah. also goes to show why we like a 1.6, because yep. Toxin Rebel Ambush isn't Kills just face everything. Ah It's like one of you wanting airfields and <laughs> Flame tanks, overlords. Oh make uh, it stop. Anyway. Hardcore. Thanks for watching. We are the General's Gentlemen. It's been a pleasure. Later.